mom would still go with me to all these castings. She would always be like, shocks, nakakahiya to, like, nandito pa ako, bakit pa ako nandito, ang laki mo. Hey Preview, this is Hannah, and I'm here to talk to you about how I started as a model. If you ask me how I really started, this is it. I had really long hair back in college, which is when I started modeling. I started like in my first year, I was still studying in La Salle, Communication Arts. I started doing like little runways for college or groups. You know, whenever they needed a model, I'll do their like posters and runways and stuff. So that's really how I started. I did freelancing. I met actual real models at that time, like Sina Haywon, Sina Lou. So when I met them through that, they kind of like introduced me more into their world and that's when I joined BMAB. After that, when I graduated college, I then decided to do it internationally. Back then, for the castings, like even my mom would still go with me to all these castings because my parents were very strict. So like, she would always be like, shocks, nakakahiya to, like, nandito pa ako, bakit pa ako nandito, ang laki mo. So, but because of my dad, he actually was the one who made my mom go with me everywhere. I started in Malaysia first, and then that's when it was my kind of like training ground. Like, you know, I've never been away from home. So I tested it there, like if I couldn't handle being away from them, then I can't go to Europe or the States, which is where I really wanted to go. So that's how I started. Yes, I always wanted to become a model, but like back then the thing is like I was always so shy, like I was so timid. I didn't want to recite in class. But when I got to college, I guess that's when I really like broke out of my comfort zone and I was like, you know, if I really wanted to do this, if I wanted to give it a try, then I needed to push myself and that's how like I even still live now because like whenever I see myself hesitating, like I'm like, oh shocks, I think I'm, I don't want to do that. I kind of try to convince myself, this is for your personal growth. I have to be a better me, basically. The reason why I did the college or posters and stuff that's basically like how I got used to being in camera. Like, yeah, these are my friends, so I'm just like more comfortable with them. Also, let's say when I was gonna be paalam to my parents, I'll be like, no, this is a, this is just for like school. This is nothing. This is you know. Like, so that was kind of like my paalam. That was my way in, basically. Like, I was just always saying like, oh, I'm gonna do this for school. Oh, I'm part of this org. I have to do this. What I'd say is that my schedule in the States is like I get my bookings or whatever the night before. So let's say if I have something planned for the day, I kind of have to reschedule everything and just like accommodate that. Maybe also I could consider like, you know, being away from home, that's also something that's kind of like hard for me. That's why I like going back every year so I can spend time with my family, see my friends, catch up with everyone. I'd say the favorite aspect would be the whole experience of getting to work with creatives also. Like, the whole process is very inspiring, especially when everyone is just so energetic, everyone, the vibe is so good. You're just like, I want to try this, I want to try that. After the full day, you might be so tired, but the reward is just like amazing. Another aspect that I really enjoy with modeling is that I get to travel. So, I mean, for actually going abroad for work, I had all these like bucket list places to go to and a lot of these places I was able to check off <laughs> modeling. I think it's more of like an ongoing thing. Like let's say like what prepared me probably was like how I was brought up. My parents taught me how to be independent. What prepared me probably is just like modeling is still a job. Like this is still adulting. How my parents taught me think smart, you know, street smarts and all that. That's what I still take with me now. When we we're specifically talking about modeling itself, like I you know, watch videos, I look at magazines, follow people who are part of the industry. So that actually like gives me the information that I need. Let's say when I'm on set and I'd be like, they say like a reference that I am familiar with and I'd be like, oh yes, I just actually saw that and that helps me like throughout the day. I think 
I would have wanted someone to tell me like how it actually is. Growing up, we all know America's Next Top Model, Asia's Next Top Model. It's not as realistic as you think it is. Like, yes, we're always running around during fashion week, to going to casting. But there's also a different side of it, like keeping up your own schedule. Yes, people are telling you what to do, but like you also have to control your own schedule, how you make use of your free time and all that. So you can't just rely on someone to just keep giving everything to you, you know? I would always advise aspiring models to practice. Because for me, it took me like a while to get used to the camera. Like, Again, I was so timid before, so I was like, do I look okay? Is, is this my angle, you know? They always ask you that sometimes, like, which side is your angle? And for the longest time, I'm like, I think any is my angle. And then they'll be like, okay, let me just take your photo and then see it. And they'll be like, yeah, this side is your angle. And I always forgot it. So, you know, you always have to practice your angles, practice your walk. The thing is, with, when you're walking for runway, like, it takes time for you to have, like, a signature walk and you don't have to completely follow someone. Another thing I would say is like you have to remember to be yourself. It's easy to get caught up in this industry. People would want you a certain way, especially also like let's say if you're going to different castings, that means they have different vibes and stuff. So you have to like mold yourself to be that kind of person. So one thing is just like don't forget who you are because it's easy to get caught up. It's actually hard for me to say where I would be you know, like even just a week from now, you know, my schedule actually does change so frequently. Like, let's say my agents can tell me like, oh, can you go to LA or to a different country or something like that. So it's hard for me to like schedule actually in advance. But like, let's like, basically five years from now, I will definitely still be modeling. I will still continue like traveling. It's hard because now and because of the pandemic, my travel was very limited. And that's when I moved to New York and just like worked in one market. So hopefully by then, I'll still be able to go to different markets and have been to markets that I haven't tapped yet, like Spain and you know, like they may be smaller markets, but you know, because I want to just travel there, I want to go. Thank you so much, Preview, for having me today. I haven't been here in so long, so it's really nice to see familiar faces and just work with a Filipino team again. To you guys watching, don't forget to follow Preview and if you wanna. And till next time, I'll see you guys. Bye!